Hey, what's up? This Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta TN setup is kind of cheap. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do the setup for yourself. Why does it work? And what are the mix up options you have after landing it? If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you. So you're probably wondering, why does this setup work? And the reason for it is actually pretty funny. Basically, for some reason, when instantly Z changing from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's level one, and stopping the actual full animation from occurring, Gogeta will just fall like a rock all the way to the floor, as opposed to teleporting off the screen like most characters do when you Z-change from them. When Gogeta actually hits the floor from landing from his level one super, he actually stops the opponent from sliding forward with his own hurt box while they are knocked down. As a result, it creates this tiny little gap in the corner, which gives you just enough space to sneak in a cross-up jumping light mix-up. There are a few ways you can go about setting up this level 3 Oki setup off of a solo hit of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The main route that I recommend is just to combo into his Air EX Lariat, as it works off of most basic combos as long as they end near the corner, kind of high up. You can opt for the combo route that I showed at the beginning of this video if you want to build a little bit more meter before doing this setup, which could be very crucial in killing the opponent with the left-right mix-up after you land it. The two main things to keep in mind when doing this corner setup is the height and the side switch. Without the proper height, Gogeta will not fall from high up enough to prevent your opponent's body from moving forward. And the side switch is important because Gogeta's level 1 is designed to always appear behind your opponent so you need to find a way to side switch the opponent while you are high up in the corner in order to get the correct setup. Once you understand these rules, you can actually apply it to Z changing from other characters. Any character that has a good side switching special move or super that keeps them high up can utilize the setup, allowing them to go for this cheap mix up without even having to land the hit as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Make sure to experiment with your own characters and find out how you can use the setup with your own team. Just from my testing alone, I was able to make this work with Master Roshi, UI Goku, and Bardock, as you can see right now. I was also able to make it work with some other characters like Super Saiyan Vegeta, Vegito, Super Baby 2, and Hit, as these characters have side switching special moves or supers that grant you access to this OP setup. Now the next thing to know is what are the best mix-up options for this setup? I showed you the cross-up option, but how do you go same side? The best option I found in terms of a same side option has actually been to jump back into an air dash forward air dodon ray. As even if the opponent blocks the air dodon ray, you are still safe on block and you can even opt to jail into your vanish if you have the meter. A good way to know if you are doing this mix-up correctly is to actually have your opponent on counter-attack vanish in the training mode settings and make sure you are stuffing them out of their wake-up vanish. If done properly, this mix-up will hit on the same frame cross-up as well as same side. Though I will admit, inputting the same side dodon rate can be a bit difficult at times. So if you want an easier alternative same side option, you can also choose to do an air dash into a same side super dash and go for a basic combo. With the proper hit and optimization, this mix-up situation can be quite lethal and can very easily lead to you two touching your opponent with the mix-up landing. As you can see, after landing this unreactable left-right mix-up, a standard TN rejump combo will very easily KO the opponent. Oh, and it also works with Frieza too, but don't worry about that. <laughs> And that's it for the video. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment on the video as it really helps the channel grow. I'm trying to upload a video weekly and the support up until now has been amazing. Thank you a lot. 
I also discovered this setup on my Twitch channel. So if you want to see more of me, I'm currently trying to stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. So check out my channel in the link above. Thank you all for the support and stay tuned for more.